This output from Unity Recorder is spectacular. I've seen some videos on this that were kind of confusing. Maybe just an earlier state. Thought I would give it a try. Amazing 4K, 60 frames per second. Ah, it's pretty spectacular. It needs to be added to a project. So you go to Package Manager, and instead of my assets, this is going to be in the Unity registry. And search for Recorder. And here we go. Install this into the project. All right, and it's in. It operates a little bit differently than standard packages. You access the recorder from Window General Recorder, and you open a new recorder window, which I will actually just dock over on the side. All right, uh, to get started, we need to add a recorder. And there's different types of recordings you can do. You can do animation clips, movies, image sequences, or just the audio if you just wanted to capture the audio from a project. I want to focus on the video aspect of this. So we have a new movie recorder and the, uh, multiple sources supported. We're just going to stick with the game view. Uh, we want to see what the camera is outputting there. Um, output resolution. And we can go all the way up to 4K. Um, I'm not, I haven't really explored the max capabilities of custom, but we'll go with the 4K, 69 aspect ratio, include the audio. There are different media formats. I have not found the ProRes QuickTime to work on Apple Silicon. So we'll go with just H.264 MP4, uh, stick with high quality. And note that there is uh, both constant and variable frame rates. and the variable frame weight is as well, I haven't found to work. And let's kick it all the way up to 60. So we have 4K 60. Lastly, just how the output file is named. Um, I've already captured a few here. I've got, um, what is this, one through 12 captures that I previously recorded. So now yeah, we just choose our output folder. We can apply a naming convention and then on the take number, because I've already got some takes, I'm just going to start at take 13. So I have this demo project. This is manufacturer K4 top down caves, and I've got demo two open. And on the main camera, there is an animator and it's running one of the, the preview animations. When we start recording, we will automatically kick over to player mode. Our animator is, is running. And when we stop recording, we will kick out of play mode and we will have captured our video. So there we go. We've got a recording segment. If we go over here to uh, Finder, we see there it is, movie 13. Uh, we can play through that. And here is the actual output of that full screen. Fantastic. Let's try something different. I'll go back to the inspector uh, on this main camera. I'm going to get rid of this animator and I'm going to add a Unity simple camera controller. And this will enable me to control the camera during playback. And what I'll do is I will exit uh, or deselect this exit play mode. So when exit play mode is off, uh, we can just take any number of arbitrary recordings as we go through. So for example, here I'm, I'm playing, I'm kicked off, and I can start a recording and arbitrarily stop and note that I'm still in play mode. So maybe what I'll do is while in play mode, let's just change the scene a bit here, pan around, look for an alternate view. It's nice when you don't want to exit play mode. I think it's it's pretty important if you've got like a sequence of things occurring and you know, it, it's imperative that you retain play mode then just simply deselect this exit play mode and then you can just kick on and off different recordings. Yeah, this is kind of interesting. I'll, I'll back out just a little bit and I'll use the, I'll just sort of dolly the cam forward. I'll start recording. 
zoom in. And yeah, when I've got my sequence, I can simply stop recording. And there it is.